Hey everybody, my name is Taylor Hyatt, and I saw a post on Reddit the other day uh, talking about or asking for people's opinions on reviews and different things on the Nexus 5 one year later. And I bought a Nexus 5 on launch day or pre-order day, whatever you want to call it, last year, and got it a few days later and I've used it since as my daily driver. And so I thought I could provide some insights onto the or into the Nexus 5 you know, as a daily driver, I know that several people are looking more at the Nexus 5 as it is uh, staying for sale. Uh, and some people, because of the size or the cost or whatever, the Nexus 6, they're looking at staying on the Nexus 5 for another year, picking one up. So thought I'd give some insights to it. Uh, I did come from a Nexus 4, so I have the Nexus 5 now. Came from a Nexus 4. Will be buying the Nexus 6 as soon as Google gives me the opportunity to. And... The Nexus 5, in my opinion, is the best one I've ever owned, by far. Uh, it's always done exactly what I needed it to, when I needed it to. It's been fantastic, and I really love the Nexus line. I love what it stands for. I love the, the constant updates or, you know, the, the quick updates. And really, really looking forward to the Nexus 6, and I'll kind of go into that, uh, you know, as I go through a couple different things about the Nexus 5. But I thought I'd just go through a couple of things that people on that thread were posting and or asking about I suppose and the first one is the battery life the battery life on this phone has been decent decent I, I think that's the best word to use to use for the battery life it hasn't been fantastic but it also hasn't been bad I can tell you that on a daily average, I probably get between two hours and four hours, maybe two and a half to four hours worth of screen on time, uh, which is decent. It's not anything like the new Note 4 where I'm seeing, you know, people posting six, seven hours of screen on time, which is awesome. But the Nexus 5 battery life has been okay for me. Uh, I do have wireless chargers everywhere I take advantage of the wireless charging and so when I'm sitting at my desk at work or I come home and I'm sitting in my living room or I'm you know wherever I have wireless chargers everywhere and so I can just sit my phone onto the wireless charger and then when I'm ready to go or I need to go do something I just pick it right back up and so for me battery life has never been an issue because of that I even have a wireless charger in my car and so it's always been very, very convenient for me to just top off every now and then. Just whenever I'm sitting down, I just lay my phone down and it charges. So that's always been really convenient for me as far as battery life goes. The next thing that I wanted to comment on was the screen. So it is a 5-inch, you're right there at it, 5-inch 1080p screen. And I love it. I think saturation is great. I think the colors are great and natural. I think they're very, uh, very, very close to real-life colors. And... I think the videos look great, I think the games look great, I think the pictures look great. Uh, you can see this video, even the animations and, and the video in that game, in my opinion, are fantastic. Uh, obviously it's not a Quad HD uh, screen like on the Note 4 or the Nexus 6, but uh, it's a fantastic phone. You also have to realize that this screen and this phone are a year old, so obviously they're not going to match up with, you know, the latest and greatest but I think the screen is great uh, the screen has not let me down at all it's always been super clear super crisp for me and so if that's an issue at all for you uh, the 5 inch screen 5 inch 1080p screen on the Nexus 5 in my opinion is great uh, I do not run a custom kernel or a custom ROM on my phone I do run a custom kernel I run Elemental X just to help me out a little bit with battery life and then I also do run Expose, so I use uh, a certain or a, a few different Expose modules, such as Gravity Box Expose module, and I also use Greenify to help me once again with battery life. And with Expose and Elemental X, it pretty much gives me everything I would want out of a custom ROM. On my Nexus 4 previously, I did try some custom ROMs, that kind of thing. And if that's what you want to do, then that's what you want to do. It's actually really, really easy to do on a Nexus 5, in my opinion. But I just never got the, you know, wanting to do it because everything worked on my phone great. It's always been extremely snappy. Obviously, being a Nexus phone, I've always gotten the updates very, very, very quickly. 
and I can't really remember a time when I've gotten a forced restart or a forced reboot or the phone is frozen. Um, things like that don't really happen uh, to me on a daily basis or a weekly basis even. My phone has always run extremely well and I like it that way. Um, it, once again, you know, I love the Nexus 5, highly recommend it to anybody. Um, the, the next thing I wanted to comment on was the camera. Now, I'm going to say the same thing about the camera that I said about the battery. It's decent. It's not perfect. It's far from perfect. But it's not absolutely terrible. Now, I am not a big picture-taking guy, so that may have something to do with it. Uh, I do have a Nikon D3300 that I like to take pictures with. In fact, I'm filming this right now on it. But... Uh, I only really take pictures on my phone if there's something really, really cool, or I'm at a baseball game and I think the scenery looks really neat, or I am um, I see a cool sunset and I want to take a picture of the scenery, or even a picture of a car, and you'll notice that this car is in a low light situation, it was early in the morning outside of a Harris Teeter, and saw a car, so I took a picture of it, and I think that picture looks great. In fact. I think that picture cropped a little bit. It was actually my home screen on my Nexus 5 for a while. But I've always liked the camera. I think the camera works fine for me. Uh, if you're a big picture taker, I don't think it compares to something like the Note 4 that has optimal image st stabilization, but it's also a brand new phone. And we know that iPhones, the iPhone 6 has a fantastic camera, but once again, it's a brand new phone, um, and this is a year old. I am looking forward to the camera on the Nexus 6 just because it has the optical image stabilization and from very very early reviews I've heard that it's a very it's a it's a it's a huge improvement over the Nexus 5 camera and if it's a huge improvement over the Nexus 5 camera for me that would be awesome um, I would highly recommend the Nexus 5 to anyone anyone even though it's a year old uh, I am excited and interested to see what Android 5.0 Lollipop brings to the Nexus 5 I know that obviously a whole new design, several performance uh, increases, as well as Project Volta and with the battery life that Google's trying to increase, um, you know, the battery life on phones. And so if my battery life could increase by 20 or 30 percent on a Nexus 5, that would be fantastic for me, obviously for anyone really. But I am excited about Android 5.0 and this coming to the Nexus 5 as well on the Nexus 6. I can tell you the biggest reason why I'm switching to the Nexus 6 is, one, because I like to be on a one-year cycle for my phones. I'm, I'm one of those guys who likes the greatest and latest. The other reason is is that I don't, I don't really have a tablet. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't use my laptop a ton. Uh, when I'm at home or I'm you know, browsing the internet or something like that, my phone is my primary you know, media uh, you know, device that I use. Uh, and so... Having a larger screen, that what's going to be like what's on the Nexus 6, that 6-inch six Quad HD screen, I am really, really happy about that. I'm really excited about that because I use my phone just to browse the internet, just to look at different things. I even use it a little bit at work for Excel spreadsheets and that kind of thing. And with a bigger phone, I'm really excited about the possibilities that I can do with that. So those are my opinions on the Nexus 5. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to comment below. But uh, be on the lookout for, for Android 5.0 Lollipop. It should be coming out soon. Uh, there have been previews out for a while. In fact, MKBHD just put out a video with his top five features of Android 5.0 Lollipop. I can link that below as well. But really excited about the Nexus 5. Really glad that I had the Nexus 5 for the past year. But obviously looking forward to the Nexus 6. Uh, once I get that phone in hand, I will be making a couple videos, including a uh, Nexus 6 vs. Galaxy Note 4, so be on the lookout for that. But if you liked it, subscribe, and uh, feel free to ask any questions in the comments. Thanks!